What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video and today we're showcasing a unit that in my opinion has one of the most badass card arts in this entire game, STR Super Saiyan God Goku. Now this unit is quite special, at least to me, mainly because I couldn't pull him for the longest time man. For about a year and a half I called this guy my unicorn for Dokkan because every time I summoned on a banner that he was featured on, I would pull like everything except for him and it was weird right because he's a very old unit so he's been back a lot and I couldn't pull him no matter how hard I tried and finally after like like I said a year and a half I finally got him so to commemorate the fact that he's rainbow now I thought it'd be nice to make a little showcase here and uh, this is also a nice little follow-up to my video from yesterday where I was talking about the hardest hitting Godku in the game out of the five that are currently available there's one of each type now right and this guy came in uh, second place, right behind the tech Super Saiyan God Goku from the uh, Dragon Ball Broly movie, right? Now, it's actually quite impressive because this guy, overall, in his best setup, only hits about 100,000 damage less than the tech Godku, who is a much newer unit. So I feel like he deserves the respect, and we're going to do a showcase for him right here, right now. And perfect setup here, we have him with his nearly best linking partner now i believe ui goku actually is still a better linking partner for this str god coup but uh super saiyan god vegeta is right up there so we're gonna get to see him with a very good linking partner and eventually at some point in the showcase maybe i'll try to get him linked up with ui goku too because him and ui goku share a lot of attack links and uh they're gonna boost each other a lot so right off the bat one just over a million but this guy actually buffs himself with every single attack. Uh, I believe it's not indefinite like the Kaioken mechanic, but he does buff himself by 30% attack and defense for three turns after supering. Speaking of his details, let's just get into it, guys. So, let's see. His leader skill is all types, key plus two. Oh, crap. I just messed up. It's fine. It's not a big deal. But <laughs> you guys know sometimes when I try to talk and play at the same time, I do mess up. But didn't get the first UI Goku super off. It's not a big deal. Talking about STR Godku though, his leader skill is all types key plus 2, HP, attack, and defense plus 40%. So right off the bat, you can tell that he's not a great leader, and you're probably not going to be running him as a leader anytime soon. His super attack is supreme damage, raises attack and defense by 30% for 3 turns. So not like the Kaioken mechanic where literally for the rest of the fight, every single turn, the unit is buffing his attack. This guy does have a turn limit, turn restriction on his buff but it's still a good buff you can get a maximum of 90 percent to the sa multiplier after three supers and as you guys will see he is going to get a higher attack uh, i mean there's also the kami buffing them too so i guess it's a little bit unfair but uh you guys will see that he's going to have quite a bit higher of a attack stat than he did last time so last time it was just over a million and this time it should go to I'm guessing maybe 1.3 1. 1. point there we go 1.3 almost 1.4 we get a nice crit going here too ah no crit no crit but you know what guys not important it's all about the attack stat um that you get before the actual damage because as we all know super saiyan 4 goku does get a damage reduction so uh yeah but he cuts damage by about half so it's okay it's okay actually a pretty solid attack stat right there 1.4 mil like i said this unit's uh, very old man it gotta be at least two two and a half years old at this point I don't know exactly, but it's somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. Okay. Um, going back to what I was talking about, though. His links are... Wait, did I talk about his passive? His passive is attack and defense plus 80% when performing a super attack. And that's not, like, the best buff, but it's decent. It's decent. And when you get him in his right setup with the right linking partners and everything, um, he, he does quite well for both attack and and uh, defense so of course tanking wise he's he's okay he's okay he's not gonna be a great tank but he's not gonna be hitting the hardest either but he's gonna be good in both aspects uh his links are godly power shocking speed super saiyan over in a flash warrior gods the first awakened and fierce battle and the first awaken is really what makes him such a great linking partner for super saiyan uh no ultra instant goku because ultra instant goku has that first awakened link which not a lot of units have and I believe he's the only God Ku. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe he's the only Super Saiyan God Goku that has the first awakened link. So him and UI Goku just make a great pair. That's a 25% attack link, which is 
Very high. Very, very high. Okay. Perfect. Now we have uh, UI linked with... Actually, who links better with him? Okay, yeah. UI, UI is marginally better. Um, but if we put him in the middle, he actually gets additional links from both. Okay, so we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much the best possible setup unless you have like a AGL Supreme Kai of Time. Not, not why do I keep saying Kai? Supreme West Kai? You know, you, you guys know the 40% uh, um, support unit for Realm of Gods. I don't remember her name exactly, but she's the best possible support unit for Realm of Gods. I didn't pull her unfortunately, so I can't use her, but I didn't even see how much damage this did. I need to pay attention, guys. I, I need to pay better attention. Um, and last but not least, his categories are Realm of Gods, Your Saiyans, Movie Heroes, and Goku's Lineage. Now, Goku's Lineage is probably his best um, possible category in this game to run him on, but he, I mean, that category is not available on Global yet. I'm on Global, obviously, so I can't show you guys what he can do on that category. The second best, honestly, is not Realm of Gods, it's Movie Heroes, but you guys know if you've been watching me for a while. If not, then I'll let you guys know right now. You probably have questions about why I'm not running a Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta as the leader, and it's mainly because I didn't pull him, man. That's, <laughs> that's all there is to it. Never, never pulled him. Tried my best. Couldn't do it. Uh, over a thousand stones deep at this point. I think if I add everything together, including the summons I did after the discounts went away, somewhere around 1300 stones so 1300 stones deep couldn't pull the gogeta so we're using a realm of gods team and man yo why does that goku have to why you gotta do that man didn't even let the the god poo get his attack off show off anyways um so yeah that's why we're using realm of gods of course his the, the buff that the god is getting is not going to be as high as it could be but it's actually not bad either um, 150% is as opposed to 170%, but at the same time, Movie Heroes doesn't include UI Goku, and UI Goku, as you guys can see, is the best linking partner for him, so uh, it's a bit of a trade-off. It's a bit of a trade-off. <laughs> Honestly, if I could, I would run him on a uh, Movie Heroes team with the 170% buffs, but it's not an option. But you guys can see here, you know what? He actually still does very, very well on Rumble Gods. Arguably the best uh, god coup to put on this team for that first awakened link and uh, We're still crushing everything as expected now. I Think in that last fight with Vegeta we barely got to see god coup, So I'm gonna make sure to put him in the front now Just so actually there's three enemies. So it's not a big deal But just so we can see him actually do something as opposed to just being in the middle and watching all the other units destroy uh, This is good. Uh, oh, actually it's not good because I was I targeted Bowser. I should have targeted the. Hey, is it Naze? Okay, 1.3 mil. Get a crit. Yo, you got tw you got level 20 crit, man. You got level 20 crit. You can't give me a crit here. <sighs> Yo, Godku is not showing out, but UI Goku is 1.7. Damn. All right. I literally put everyone against type disadvantage. <laughs> Oh man, Tiger, you gotta think, man. You gotta think. Um, so that's pretty much all I gotta say about the SDR God Koo. He's still a very good unit. As you can see, his damage output is uh, impressive. It's actually a very, very impressive attack stat that he gets, despite being how old he is. And I think it's easy to see how he is the second hardest hitting God Koo in the game right now, um, right under. Tech God Koo. Tech God Koo has a higher attack stat. He also has a bigger buff on his passive, and he also gets additional attack for every rainbow key sphere that he obtains, which he also gives to himself. So it's just not fair to like compare the two because it's a newer unit that we're talking about. But uh, it's actually very surprising to me after I saw the analysis yesterday that you know the STR one, sorry, the um, oh yeah, the STR one actually isn't that far behind the uh, tech one and honestly we're only looking at about 100k difference when there's such a big difference in their passives their age and uh attack stat well i mean actually it's not a huge difference i believe the the tech one only has about 200 more attack than the str one 
And yeah, so this is STR Godku for you guys. He's good. <laughs> That's pretty much all I can say. He's still very, very good. Still easily hitting for over a million. Give me a crit here, 1.5. Thank you. Thank you. There's a crit right there. And if you guys have UI Goku, definitely pair those two together because they, they really buff each other a crap ton. A crap ton. Ah, oh, man. I wish I had Gogeta. <laughs> I wish I had Gogeta so bad. I could run that Movie Heroes team, right? I could kind of run that Movie Heroes team and also have him alongside the now Extreme Z Awakened SDR Gogeta on the Fusions team too, just make that team even more OP. As OP as it is right now for me, man, that Gogeta Blue would have made all the difference. But hey, 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 I'm getting on a tangent. I, I always do this. We're not, we're not here to talk about Gogeta Blue. I'm just... It's taking me a while, guys, to get over this shaft, man. If you don't follow me on Twitter, I made a tweet a couple days ago, and I was like, yo, I've decided. No more summons until the four-year banners come around, because I just can't deal with the shaft, man. I, I, I need some time to recover for this massive, massive, massive shaft that the Broly and Gogeta banners gave me. And I'm still reeling from that right now. So I'm just going to enjoy the units I have and watch other people pull fire. Oh, nice. Nice. 1.3 mil crit right there. Watch other people pull fire. Uh, watch them summon on the cooler banner, the Int Goku Black banner. As cool as those two units are, honestly, I don't feel like I need them. I, I really don't feel like I need them. So it's not really a major concern for me whether or not I pull on them, which, like I said, I'm probably not going to. But if you guys are summoning, then best of luck. Honestly, AGL Cooler and In Goku Black are both very good units. But I feel like you're not going to be missing out on much if you don't pull on them either. And of course, they will be back in the future on other banners. You just got to be a little bit patient. I mean, my whole story with Godku here, the SDR one, is like, if you don't get the unit you want first time around, don't worry about it, man. It's gonna, it's You're eventually going to pull them in subsequent banners. Like I said, it took me a year and a half to pull my first copy, and now he's rainbowed. You know what, let's just get out of here. We've we've seen enough. We've seen enough. This is the end of the showcase, guys. I think I showed you guys. Still a very good unit. Um, but going back to what I was saying, man, like, <laughs> don't worry if you can't pull a unit first time around like me for God for Super Saiyan God. No, not Super Saiyan God. Um Super Saiyan Blue. Why, why am I saying it like that? Gogeta Blue. Gogeta Blue and also Fizz Broly 2. I didn't get either of those. AGL Broly 2, the EZA one. Don't have him, but hey, at least I have my Rainbow Super Saiyan God STR Goku. Man, I'm messing up all the names today. STR Goku. STR Goku. At least I have him rainbowed. And I also happen to have the STR God Vegeta with two dupes. He is the only featured unit, new featured unit that I pulled off that banner and I pulled him three times. Couldn't get Gogeta. Couldn't get Gogeta Blue. Couldn't get Tech Godku. But it's okay. I got my Rainbow STR Godku. Does it sound like I'm trying to convince myself that everything's okay while the world is on fire around me? Pretty much. Pretty much. But that's okay. Okay. <laughs> There's not, that, not much else I can do. Hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. He's a great unit and I love his art. I love his animation. And I'm very happy that he's rainbow for me. I don't need Gogeta. Yes, I hope. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But next time he comes back, I'm going to rainbow him. Just you guys watch. Okay, that's a good... <laughs> that's going to do it for Showcase, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see. Then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you're going to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's it. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. <laughs>